it's, um, there's no pressure coming from them. And you mentioned in your article too, you mentioned funding. I mean, that's obviously an ongoing issue mm -hmm. um, with, with uh, I guess, strong credit growth that we're seeing at the moment that has been outstripping deposit growth um, to some degree. So is that a, that's obviously a, 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 that's an ongoing concern for you that, um, you know, you have to go offshore and raise money. Is that part of the problem here as well? Um, yes, it is. I mean, all, all of the banks or, or um, um, I would say all of the big banks would go offshore and top up. And, um, you know, I would be suggesting most of the banks would top up for roughly the same amount every year. And if you go offshore and decide you want to top up for double that, you're going to pay a lot more for it. Um, and and we, we sort of get a sense for what we can borrow offshore at around, you know, competitive rates. And then, um, you know, if we were to go offshore and ask for a lot more, um, obviously the spread goes up and then, you know, that, that has to be um, passed through as an input cost. So, so we try and limit how much we borrow from offshore and obviously New Zealand has a limited amount of savings. So um, savings are important, which is why um, I said in the article that, um, you know, I doubt that we could continue to go on um, lending, um, you know, at, at, at heightened levels for a period of time um, because we'd have to borrow more from offshore to top up. <coughs> Excuse me.